Well, happy Friday Eve and thankfully today we are getting some blue sky and we get to enjoy a nice evening, but it has been a very active kickoff to June and so far this month. We've picked up about an inch and a half of rainfall in Meridian, most of which has fallen since Monday, and we do have a surplus for the month of more than half an inch. For the year, we have a surplus of more than four inches. All quiet on EMEPA Live Radar as we look at the latest time slot there. Again, we did have some showers earlier that developed right along that cold front and dropped a little bit of rain for areas uh, in the southern parts of our zones, especially throughout Choctaw and parts of Clark County. But now the cold front is down towards the coast and we have this north wind that's ushering in some drier air, not necessarily some cooler air. So get ready for it to feel more comfortable outside as we go through time. Here's a check of the dew point temperatures, which give a good indication of the amount of moisture in the air. The higher the norm number, the more uncomfortable it is. And we still have dew points in the 70s, which is very tropical like that is definitely what you call air you can wear and it's allowing for it to feel hotter when you factor in the humidity. But as we go through time, here's that future cast again. Notice the time clock for this evening again around 70. But as we go into tomorrow and then tomorrow afternoon, especially the dew points will fall into the 50s and that is going to feel fantastic. That is very comfortable. So even though it is going to remain hot for tomorrow with temperatures at 90 or a little bit above in some spots, again, that heat index won't be much of a factor because those dew points are going to be in the 50s range. And as we head into the kickoff to the weekend, still we're talking dew points in the 50s, upper 50s, low 60s, not too bad either. So enjoy the next couple of days because it won't last too long. I will step off screen to get a full view of this photo courtesy of Jane Cumberland. It's called After the Storm. This was taken yesterday evening in Neshoba County as the storms were moving out. Some beautiful sunset colors that were up above. But thankfully this evening we're gonna, not going to have anything in terms of storms moving out and giving us those colors in the sky. But at least tonight you will be able to see the sun as it's setting. But regardless, though, the thing I want to bring to note is that the sun will set at 8 o'clock this evening, and that's going to set the stage for 8 p.m. or later sunsets until about July 22nd. So June 20th, which is the first day of summer, the sun will set at about 8.05. And on July 20th, the sun will set at 8 p.m. Again, July 22nd, that's the last day of 8 p.m. or later sunsets. And and as we look forward to, let's say, August 20th, the sun will then set at about 733. So if you're a fan of later sunsets, you're going to love this little stretch of time. But we know it won't last always, so take advantage of it. As far as temperatures, though, we're into the upper 80s for most spots, still holding at 90 for Quitman. But with the humidity, again, it's still muggy out there. It feels like it's 97. Meridian is 89. It feels like it's 95. And for Butler, it's 89 also, and it feels like it's around the mid-90s. If you're going to be out there this evening, again, thankfully, you don't need the umbrella, keeping it high and dry. Temperatures gradually fall off into the 70s as we head towards bedtime tonight. And then overnight, we're going to have those lows into the upper 60s, which is seasonable, but it's going to be a sticky night again a muggy night there could even be some patchy fog but as that drier air settles in really feeling good for your friday even though highs will be around 90 so hopefully you can get outside and enjoy the weather here's that seven day forecast and get ready for what's going to be a fantastic weekend saturday morning we're talking upper 50s it's been a while since we've been there Very nice. and as we go towards next week then of course the umbrella will have to come back with us but at least for now friday through sunday looks good